Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody to another great episode of Real Life Matters. Of course, I'm your host, D-Boss. I'm also just thanking the guests that for watching my show, staying with me for all these years, you know, just I give a shout out to y'all and just making you feel good. And, you know, and also um, I've been giving some tips on laughing and laughing is healthy for you. So I hope everybody's doing their thing, their 50 minutes of laughing, you know, it takes the stress off. It takes, if you have high blood pressure, you know, it helps in that. It helps releasing those endomorphins off of your body. It also helps in healing. We're not saying to stop taking your medication, but that that also helps in that. So if you don't have anybody to laugh with, then you can always uh, put on a sitcom, put on something that you know that you would laugh and get your 15 minutes in there. But, from, but anyways, we're going to hear one of the tips here from our uh, vital vital health and they're going to tell us a little information and then we're going to introduce our next guest so just stay tuned welcome to your healthy minute i'm joanne james and today we're talking about how important it is to warm up warming up your body is important because it prepares it for the workout how does it warm it up it increases the blood flow from the heart to the working muscles it also lubricates the joints and it prepares the tendons and the ligaments for that workout. Other great benefits is, is it reduces your risk for injury and mentally it gets you prepped and ready. So what does a warm up look like? Two parts. One, a light aerobic type activity and also dynamic stretching and a little bit of static stretching if that's your choice. A warm up is incredibly important for better performance and getting the results you want from your workout. So remember, warm up every time you get ready to do a workout. I'm Joanne James. Welcome to this healthy minute, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Oh, thank you, Joanne <laughs> James, for that uh, tip. So, you know, it's important for your workout, you know, everybody now in the summer, everybody's working out because they want to try to look good in the summer. And it's also not just for in the summer, all year round, you should make an appointment with yourself to get fit and feel healthy. All right. Well, we got one here today, an artist, and um, he's, he calls himself um, the groovy, the groovy soca artist. Well, I'm, we're going to have to find out from him what that means. <laughs> Somebody's a groovy soca artist, but it sounds something, it sounds to me like it's something hot and something good. But anyways, with no other further ado, I introduce to you the flying gay, ba, gay boy. Hello. How hello. are you? <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> All right. The flying gay boy. Gay yeah. boy. Gable, 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 Flying Gable. Oh my geez, Flying Gable. Okay, yeah. the Flying Gable, we want to know where's your background and where you come from? Well, first of all, um, thank you very much for having me here. And originally I'm from Grenada. Ooh. Yes, Spice Island. All right. So how did you come up with your name? Well, <laughs> coming up with my name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 that's an interesting one. Well, to make a long story short, uh, my dad name, my dad name is, is is Gable, you know, and you know I'm the younger version of him, the younger version of my dad, so I fly. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> I put it together, you know, so the flying Gable. All right, so. How did you get into the entertainment industry? Were you, did you just jump into it or did you train for it or how, how did you get into it? Well, usually, um, how did I get it? I'm always, like since a little boy growing up, I'm always in entertainment. I was doing music, poetry, stuff like that. So in school, I did a lot of, you know, arts and culture shows and stuff. So I'm always into the music and I have a, my background is a religious background, you could see. So I, I used to be in the church choirs and stuff like that, you know? Okay. So, you know, so when coming to music, music was always something that really um, I connected to very well, you know? Okay. 
Well, a lot of people came out, a lot of the musicians and stuff came out from church. So. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't into saying to church. Like I go to church like with my parents, but you know, but yes. I part in the choir. And also in school, we have school choirs. So I was just, I was just taking part in arts and culture, those kind of environments. I love it. All so, right. You know, and it just grew from there. Oh, okay. So can you tell everybody who you've worked with in the industry? Well, I work with a couple. Um, so everyone should know, well, in the industry, there's, I work with a guy, Ozzy Gurley. Okay. Now he's one of the number one promote, uh, producers out there. You know, he resides in Canada. Then I work with another guy, Etienne, uh, Radford Etienne, another guy. So over the years, I have worked with different um, uh, people in the industry, you know. So, I mean, everyone have different style and everyone have different ways of doing things, you know. So, right. So, if you had to do um, a collaboration, you had the opportunity. Um, who would you do a collaboration with? And you can name three. Oh, definitely. You have to be number one, Sparrow. Woo! You know, the, yeah. <laughs> I love Sparrow. I love his music. I love the way he writes his music. So that's one. Okay. And I have another guy, the car. Um, I love the older folks. And so this guy, he's I think he's I think he passed away. Yeah. Um, his name is Oh my goodness. I love his music. Um, he sings a lot of older songs. He sings a lot of older songs. Um, oh my goodness, my brain just freeze. So let me say Sparrow. So let me say Sparrow, and my other guy will be exactly um, a Jamo. I, I'm from Grenada, so I would love to do something with a Jamo. A Jamo is pretty good, you know. I like his music. Too. I like his music, and Trinidad Rio. That's a guy, Trinidad Rio. That's the oldest, okay. but I love his music. I love his style. You know, you know, you know. I love people like you know. The older folks because I can relate to them way much better with the way they write <laughs> the storyline. Like because the type of soca that you do. Yeah, like Zando Lee and those guys and them. So I listen to them a lot because I mean the the way they write music and the way they, they craft they're so crafty in their words and how they do things, you know. So if I have that chance, these are the people I would like to work with and do something with. Them. Okay, so are you are you open to um, Afro beats, uh, reggaeton, anything else? Oh yeah, oh yeah, well, oh, yeah. Well, right now Afro beats is <laughs> right now, so it definitely, definitely is a new is a new era, is a new time. You know, Afro beats. Like I got a couple of my music. I I do have two songs that is an Afro beat. I just finished them sometime this year, so that's pretty good. So yeah, yep, yeah, I will. All right, okay. So let's to find out about um, this first sign here, um, the reason to live. Tell us about that. Well, it's very simple. You just said it, the reason to live. Everyone wants to live, you know, everyone, but you have to have a purpose for living. So even though we are living, what is the reason we are living? And a lot okay. of people seems to, a lot of us seems to, maybe we don't understand even though we are living, but we have a reason to live. We don't just live because for live sake. There have to be a purpose why we are on the face of the earth. And there have to be a reason why I want to be alive, why you want to be alive. Because if there is no reason, put it that way. If there is no reason for me to be in this world, I don't want to be in this world. So there have to be a reason. So that song, and I wrote that song, Reason to Live. You know I mean? that's, that's the song um, I try to express myself, you know. Okay, well, you're gonna ex you can express yourself because we're gonna play it. <laughs> okay, so you can do what you want. Okay, this is the reason to live. Here we go. Oh. 
got a reason to live it's a different kind of uh that's what you call groovy soca <laughs> <laughs> it's a different like like this one is, is a bit more gonna give you more on the um a little trending more to the gospel side yes it's nice yeah you can get a feeling you know so i cannot breach the, that kind of like um groove. <laughs> so you can yeah. calm it down you just calm everybody down a bit Reason yeah. to live. Yeah. Reason yeah. to live. <laughs> yeah. Into this right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Now tell us about this other one. Man don't understand. Oh boy. Well, again, simpleton. <laughs> so if you look at how the world things is moving into the world now, how the world is going, on, there's a lot of stuff we don't understand. And because we don't understand, man has get himself into uh, a way that they they build stuff and thinking is good for us and they realize it's not good for us and they can't fix it so to make a long story short when we like god gave us this world with everything everything man need god when god has created man he gave it to us and man has take that and develop it in his own way and man gets stuck right now. So a lot of stuff man has been doing, the way we live in now is the way man has developed this world. So when you, if you, so when you listen to the song, you'll get the real, your real reference. So let me hit that one, yeah. Okay, well, here we go. Man, man don't understand. Here we That's go. Right. Dominion over all things. 
plants and animals, even human beings. But because of greed and selfishness, he has turned the whole world into a mess. And creating technology, destroying society, and every day he preaching that his things will help me. As we cry out louder, we are sinking further, never to recover. Let us pray to the Father. Man balling, oh God, yes he balling. Man must understand, he that put himself in this jam. Man balling, oh God, yes he balling. Wow, we like it, we're balling. <laughs> <laughs> Man balling. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> There's a reason. There's a reason why my calling right now. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it. It's it's catchy. It's real catchy. Yeah. This one. Mm -hmm. Okay. So tell us about missing you. Okay. Well, you just said it. You know, I miss you. Ah, I miss you it. Is, is, is it your thing that you're missing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm well, missing you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that word is a, uh, so that word is is a little bit different because what it is like in this world now, you know, we have a lot of people that pass through our pathway, and we miss them, even though they're not around us, we miss them. And there's a lot of people we're living with in this world, even though they're around us, but we still miss them because people now don't not communicating the way they used to be before. For instance. Like most of the kids now, they will be in the same house with mom and dad, and there is no no more dinner time. Kids will kids have his own television in the house. They have their own stuff they do. So it's spread. And so like dinner time, they will just take their food and go to the their own room. You know, there's missing connections. So right, I just use that song "Missing You" and I turn it into like um, missing. A loved one, missing a girlfriend, boyfriend. You know, you can miss so many things in this world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, but that what, is, what do I hear from you? Yeah. If, is, if, is this uh, to you connected, or you wrote yeah. this for everybody? <laughs> I wrote. Well, I'm connected to that, but I wrote it for everybody else because every time I write a song, I was right about how I see things in my life evolving, mm -hmm. and then I try to relate it to the whole world to see if they're really understanding and seeing what I'm seeing. So I just a messenger, like I like to put things out there and let people just think about what I'm saying. You know, like the music is out. I mean, you must, <laughs> you know, you must miss somebody in your life, you, you know? Even though the baddest man miss somebody and the best person miss somebody, <laughs> they have to be someone for someone. <laughs> All right. All right, so here we go, missing, you and we don't know who what you it is, but it could be you at home. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. Here, here we go. Every time you're away from me, I go crazy. 
And a little bit R&B. <laughs> R&B <laughs> kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got something going in there, you know? You know, you, you got to connect. You got to connect. Mm -hmm. You got some kind of connection in there because it sounds good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So tell us, that no money, no love. Oh, oh my God. gosh. It sounds like an entertainment we had yesterday. <laughs> 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 The way the world has, if everything, everything is based on the world. So the way the world has revolved. So before time, you could have do things without, you know, looking out for anything. People used to, like, they will do things with a kindness. They will do things, you know, and they're not looking back for anything. But these days, the world has changed again because of man. And it is what it is. So if you don't have money, I don't think you will get too much of love, you know, because even relationship wise, you know, you find a lot of relationship sink because people are, you find a lot of people like they are with someone for, for not for love, for what they can get. Mm. So if you don't have the money, you can't get the honey, you know? Mm. So I, I, I find that going on a lot these days. So it's just it's just to show that where we were, we left places where we used to be honest with each other, and it becomes like the world is changing to a way that if you want to have nothing, I don't want to deal with you. You have money, that's the way it goes. And it's sad to say that, but it's reality. Well, I think I think some of your songs can go collaboration with uh Stevie J, Stevie J Blues. <laughs> well, and if you, you can watch his interview, you'll hear the song and you'll be like, oh, okay. Yeah, well, yeah. I got some, yeah, yeah. I got some and, and it's a good thing. It's not a it's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. That's, you know, no, no. I mean, yeah. <laughs> he's thinking about real things. But that's you see, and that's the whole key now. Because we are living in a real world, we cannot sing songs that doesn't that doesn't mean anything to people. We have to we have to connect with people where it is. Like, and it is what it is. I mean, we might not we might not like it, or we might try and shy away from it. But in true sense, like a lot of relationship these days is based on that. Now, to find true love, when you find true love, you will know because they say love have no boundaries. And if you love someone, it's not about what they can do for you. You love someone for who they are, you know, like for who they are, the kind of person they are. So, for instance, if someone do you bad, you don't turn around and say, "Oh, you do me bad, so I don't love you." Okay. If someone do you good, you don't turn around and say, "Oh, I love you because you do me good." You know, love doesn't have a place where to judge you and what you do. Love just comes from the heart. If you love, you just love. You love, you know, you love a bad man, you love a wicked, you love a good person, but you have to know how to. You have to know how to, to 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 be around that person, and you have to know how far to go with that love. But it shouldn't shy you away from like doing stuff if the person need help. I shouldn't shy you away of you know. Just figure about the way God loves us unconditionally. So we have shy away from that. Tell us, tell us how it is, um, Gabo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Listen, get the music. Flying Gabo. Flying Gabo. Right, Gabo. 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 You know what? <laughs> phone, phone him if you need relationship <laughs> advice. <laughs> well, you know, it's life. It's life. I, I don't like well, life. I like phone to him to it. find out to find out if the person is, is really there for you. <laughs> well, well, yes. No money. Let me get that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, we're just playing. We're just playing with it. All right. Um, <laughs> all right. So there. Here's a song now. No money, no love. Here we go. I say money, 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 money is not 
Because we know that we know it's real. That's what life is about. Right. That's, that's all it is. We're not judging anybody here. It's just right. what it is. So what about? So have you did any videos for these ones? Oh yeah. So I'm working on a video for No Money No Love. Oh, uh, I can't wait to see that one. <laughs> yeah. Oh yes. I'm working on that. Be no. That will be coming out there in the next month or two months. I'm working on a video No Money No Love. That one. That okay. one's gonna be very nice and funny. I have a more, like I, I got a couple of more songs I'm I'm I'm, I'm working on videos with them for but you know everything based on finance so I mean yes yeah but finance. it's okay you know you guys can go to the you know we I always encourage the viewers and everybody to go to your channel you know pay yeah. for the streaming because that's what helps the artists get up there you right, know and, and and comment come on people right, <laughs> right. you know it takes no. a two seconds to do it. No money, no song, <laughs> no, no song, <laughs> no video, <laughs> no, no money, no video, no video, <laughs> no show, no show, no nothing. Money is important. <laughs> it is. But, it but is. most of all, but most of all, I just want to say to the audience: please do not sell your soul for money. Wow. Keep your soul. Mm -hmm. <laughs> for today <laughs> if you get no money no really? you ain't getting it tomorrow you ain't getting it next week <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta be in the game you have to be in the game <laughs> well all these songs that you had you know today is just you know they're really good so what what are you working on next well, I got some more songs. Oh, I also, what do I work on next? I got so many things to um, to work on. Like I got so many songs in the air. I got about 500 songs. I write mostly air. 500? I got about, <laughs> listen, i tell you what. I write music every day because wow. that's what keeps me going. That's what motivate me in life and I like I got another song you know like 
the things I will do for you. Would you do the same for me? And if I was ever wrong, would you take the blame for me? The things I will do for you. People hear that? Would you do the same for me? And if I was ever wrong, would you take the blame for me? Hello, one. Expensive Woo! shopping at the mall. All you have to do was call. For you, I give it all. I give you everything. Baby, everything you required. Everything you desired. And just to keep you warm from the cold, I will draw fire. I ain't going more. I give it all. I ain't going more. That one is I got a whole heap of them more. Well, you go. You got these five hundred. You better start getting them uh, produced. The thing about the thing about it. Okay, so I write all of my songs. You know. So the thing about it, um, because everyday life is a challenge. So even though on my work, even though when I visit friends and I'm, I'm, I'm listening to people. The, the people gives me motivation because so many things I I hear when we have a conversation with other people. And as an artist and as a writer, I listen a lot because you really want to connect to the people. So once you listen to the people, then you must know where to make a song because people speak the real thing. Right. You know? The real thing. Yeah, it's on the block. It's on just where you're hanging with your girlfriend at the bar. You know, that's when people is just... <laughs> Being themselves, and you hear some things you say, but it's a nice song right here, boy. That won't, you know, that connect you. You know, you know. So I mean, but I like to stay more on the realist reality part. I like reality because okay. you know what I see. Because a lot of artists these days, they are on a different pathway. I like reality. You know, I like mm -hmm. reality. Like I have another song they call "Both of Us," and you. Can, it's, that's why I love Sparrow because Sparrow, Sparrow, Sparrow have songs in ways that it sing. Sparrow sings songs. Well, let, so let's hear this. Both I, I know you got everybody. Everybody most like okay. Both of us. I got a song called Both of Us, and then you just say that. Oh, I love Sparrow. Well, like, oh, yeah, you want to hear that? You want to hear what the song sound like? Sparrow have a song. That, Sparrow have a song that called Both of Us, which is really cool. I like it, but I have my own twist to it. So I have my own twist. To it, you know. You know, so I mean, we all have to, you know, we have to learn. We have to learn from the elders, you know, because they are the real, they are the real core of the music. So for me, I love to listen to the older folks because the only reason why they have a storyline that you can follow, and when you have a storyline, you can be happy, you can make fun of it, you know, and it's enjoyable. And I like to sing for ladies, macho people, you know, say, man. I mean, I just, I just choose to go. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> you, know? You, hear, you hear that, people? Yeah. Your cougars out, your cougars out there? Going yeah. <laughs> I love to sing. They're speaking to ladies. you. <laughs> <laughs> He's speaking to you. <laughs> yeah. The ladies, you, my ladies out there, you guys that have that industry, musical industry going men don't have it women have it. because most of the time a lady will come to and to a boyfriend or husband and say listen did you hear this i heard this tune did you hear it and the guy like nah, nah. it's when she keep playing it and playing and playing it in his head then boop my man catching so women, you go to a show who's up front the ladies up front so I gotta give the ladies, the ladies, when they come to the shows, the ladies really support, you know, like, and then once the ladies support, the men them follow. It's as simple as how it goes. So, any artist out there, just sing for a woman, you're gonna see what can happen to you. <laughs> <laughs> sing for a woman. <laughs> woman yeah, you have to sing for the ladies, man. You gotta make your ladies happy. Too. Your ladies dress up nice, you know. We ain't even going up there. Yeah. Oh, but it okay, cool. it's okay. You, you get someone to sing for you, okay? But they better oh. know how to sing. They better not yeah. sound hungry or anything. No, you have to sing. Yeah, you gotta sing for the ladies. The ladies are the ladies that the ladies that push the industry, man. You know, men do it, but you know, what did the Bible say? It said, 
behind every successful man? What there is behind that? A woman. All right. So you can't forget the princess. You can't yeah. forget the princess, you know? You can't forget the queens. They are there to support that man and give that man energy and strength. Right. But that is something. Most of us men, we head hard. We don't listen. Okay. We don't listen. But it is what it is. What are we going to do? <laughs> right. All right. Ah. Oh, this guy for Gable. It's too much. All right. I can't even. People, you must be the same way as me at home. But anyway, yeah, <laughs> this, oh, this is a full, groovy, characteristic uh, soca artist oh, yeah. with an R and B kind of flair to it. Yeah. That's what just, the groovy soca is. Yeah. And I got some reggae too. I got some. I got some serious reggae too as well. You know. Oh, some... you got reggae too, boy. People, oh, look out. Yes, I got reggae. I just finished one they called "Bad Minded People." That one is a nice reggae. That one is, you know. Okay. Do I got um, I got a reggae call, you know, like um, um, she's my queen, you know. If you go on Facebook, and, uh, I got a lot of songs up on Facebook, you know. She's my queen. I got you know, like um, I say, you know, I got one. I, there's so much songs I have in in the reggae industry too. So, but I push more than like the R and B so cool, but I, but I love okay. reggae, you know. Okay. Yeah. Well, we're hearing it. So, <laughs> Gabo. 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 Oh, Lord. Gabo. Okay. Yes. Um, you have any shout outs that you want to give to your people? Oh, yeah, my shout outs for sure. Well, first of all, I want to give you a show, a big shout out, because without you, I want to be out here to Thank do you. what I say and say what I got to say preps with you and your management team and stuff like that. Um, first of all, I want to say again, uh, I want to say big up to all my fans out there, all my producers, the engineer, you know who you are. I don't want to call a name because somebody will get jealous, you know, because they know who you are. So, you know, I want to say big up to everybody, all my fans out there who listen to me over the years and never give up to me and they never give up. You know, all the encouragement I get from all the mails I get from my fans out there and say, keep doing what you're doing. You guys strengthen me, you know. So I want to say, yeah, big up to everyone. And it, it's, you know what? We know things in the world right now is not going as it's supposed to be with all these wars and all these people. But we have to, we got to find our soul. We got to be happy. You know? Okay. We got to be happy. You know? I was born with happiness. I will die with happiness. Happiness. Say happiness. So he can give me happiness. Ma, he can give me happiness. Debbie can give me happiness. Only me can give you happiness. My happiness go longer than a mile. I don't talk. <laughs> so, <laughs> so He's awake, people. <laughs> <laughs> you know? so, All yeah. right. So, you know, tell us, tell us, oh, what you know, in case people want to book you or have you on a show or anything, can you tell us where, you know, they can find you? You know, well, just I'm, tell us again. Just well, I'm, it's, yes, I'm easy to find. So, if people want to book me, you, you know, you can just. Google Flying Gable, F L Y I N G G A Y B O Flying Gable. Again, I got my YouTube. If you go on YouTube, you can find Flying Gable. Lots of my songs there and my info, everything is there. And if you want to book me again, I got my management team, you know. So once, you know, there's a lot of ways to get a hold of Flying Gable, you know. So it's on the Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram, you know, all those things are there, you know. It's easy to find everybody, man. Just punch in the name, Flying Gable. And you'll you know, see it. Come on, no love, you'll get me. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been a pleasure having you on today, Thank Gable. You. you know, he's from Grenada. Yes, people. Yes, Grenadian. Yes, Grenada, Grenadian. Yes, Grenadian. 100% Grenadian, nothing mixed. Spice Island. Yes, and Spice Island. Oh, oil down yes they all long uh, yes and if i'm coming for carnival i'll be done for carnival we're doing that thing we gotta have a, have a new tune for carnival only they call it i go eat it mm -mm, i go eat it hey i go eat it and if you give me in a pot i go eat it 
if you put it on a string, I go eat it, 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 yeah. You think sell out? Oil long, we eat oil long. We eating oil long people. So you hear that? Well, you gotta come. Well, we welcome you to come back. You know, when you want your other stuff, come back because you know people are gonna be asking who, 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 who that boy. Trust me. Just the, one in the, red, uh, the one in the red. <laughs> but, but, you know what we're gonna do it again, man. Just once, you know, we're gonna do it no, again. No, we got, you got you got you got to bring you got to come back. <laughs> so people can get that. You know, now they see now they see your true character. They know who you are. Now they know everything about you. So right, right, right. But you know, yeah, I, yeah pretty cool. You know, I appreciate that. And the people out there is nice people out there. People, you know, everybody. Yeah. Everybody already is a human being in their own way, you know? Right. And you know what I want to do? You know what I'm going to say? Mm -hmm. People out there never tell anybody they lie. Okay. If you heard someone say something to you, do not tell them they lie. Because you heard they're saying it. So why would you think they're lying? Mm -hmm. and, them, and if they're lying, don't tell them. Because they will okay. not tell you anything more. <laughs> so just, keep, listen. just keep lying people but anyways yeah, just listen <laughs> and then, just listen. And then while you're listening you will know well, well a liar doesn't have a good memory so yeah, you, will have, you will know what direction to take <laughs> all right well it's been a pleasure you stick around back you stick around we got us we got something to tell you back you. <laughs> you. You. all right so i do want to thank the viewers tuning in here with uh, Gabe. I'm like saying Flying Gable. Flying Gable. Gable. Yeah. Today, because yeah. he told us about his journey. He's still in his journey. And, you know, and I bet you anybody that has him in a show, it's going to be one mass party. That's right. Yeah. You know, we bring the show. We bring the show to the people. It's our energy and power and excitement. <laughs> All right. All right. So, everybody. So good night and bye for now. See you next time. In Montreal this weekend. Oh, yes. All right. Well, you'll be in Montreal, but he's going to be all over the place, people. So let's go. Bye-bye. <laughs>